Hello everyone, and welcome back to Salasta, Crown of the Magister. Last time we entered into this crypt looking for Angby's bones. And I believe we found an entrance into the main castle, but before diverging towards that main quest line, we're going to continue to investigate what's in this crypt, what treasures there might be to find, and see if we can't complete that side quest for him. So for a moment, let's take Kite, because they are the athletic one, and see if we can just climb up here safely. Seems that we can. We'll shove this down. Might make a pathway for the others a little bit easier. And then if we get cautious, we can pillage this, hopefully without bringing ourselves to the attention of these other foes to our right. So we've got cash. Scroll of Bless, Flowers, Weapons and Food. Always welcome. So from up here, we might have a good advantageous place to attack these skeletons that are kind of hanging around this courtyard section where there seems to be lots of other smaller locations around it. Oh, that's good to know. Glad we clocked them. So, let's see about getting the rest of the party up here for a start. Good arms you got. And then Faith. Can you scale this wall? No, 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 no. That's not where I want us to be. So we can't scale this wall. That archer is going to have an easy time just shooting down on us from there. Oh god. Of course we've been detected. All right. Well, this is happening immediately. We have this guy up here is going to be a problem. We could get down to here and have cover. But for now, let's worry about the targets that we can see. We've got Skeletons and Skeletal Enforcers. They are half behind cover because of Faith's presence, so let's move up a touch. I don't think Faith's in the way of that at all. But hey, I won't argue. Where do we want to be? Unfortunately, these parts are not cover from anywhere else. So I don't know if we're better off getting closer to the wall or not. But we're going to go with it. Oh, look, another archer. And they're going to get all athletic on us. Pastel. What I would like is Kite to shove some of these guys off the roof. But how is your strength, Pastel? 14. 14 is respectable. So let's get over to here. And then go with a shove, push away action on this skeleton. Oh, one whole damage. Still, I will take it. And I think right now, a bonus action spiritual weapon up here is going to do us a lot of good. Now, Faith. Do you have eyes on that guy there? You do, so we'll start working on the threats above us. I won't miss next time! Unfortunately... I did not reload our ammo. But I think we should have two whole stacks. So I count at least three below and three above us. Interestingly, these skeletons kind of have the same red aura as that building behind us, which is interesting. Another teleportation zone. Loading zone. Uh, kite... Let's 
see if this goes any better this time. Six. Six is good. I'm happy with six. Not going to worry about bonus actions. Let's stand here. It might prevent them from climbing, and we can protect Pastel and Faith with our shield from this location. Looks like they are having to make an alternate climb. And back to Gothic. Can we get either of them in the range of a spell from here? Does not look like it. Shatters a bit overkill. And we can't thunder wave from here either. Alright, well let's stick with the simple stuff. And... I'm going to move back. More at range of the ranged attackers, but this skeleton will have to burn a whole turn getting towards us, I think. Which is preference. Preferable. Alright, Pastel up again. Skeletal Enforcer here. We're going to go with a shove, because now that we're stood at the top of this location, I don't think that they will be able to climb up to combat us from here. So, shove attack, push away, Skeletal Enforcer might land on that skeleton. Doesn't look like it did damage to both of them, but they're now occupying the same cell, which is peculiar. As for our spiritual weapon, that is going to... Attack the skeleton archer, because the archers are going to stay up here whereas the others are going to come down towards us, and we want to attack the stuff that's harder to hit. Faith can make this shot. Nice move. Very good. And we'll stay in range of Kite and his defences. You can move through an ally's space. That is expected. And they are taking the long way round, which is great. This one's probably going to follow. Oh, they're coming round to the left. Interesting. Uh, yes. Block with shield. Induce disadvantage. Turn a 16 into a nat 1. Now, kite. Let's go after that guy there. Don't have cantrips, but we do have our bow and arrow. We're not the best with it, but we'll suffice. Especially when we can hit like that. Then one more skeleton with four hit points. Does not have the range to get to us and make an attack, which is great. Gothic. Who's, which is this skeleton? That guy all the way over there is not our concern right now. Do we have eyes on this? We don't. So let's move across slightly. And now I think we do because of the white line I just saw. Now, ranged attack with enemy... Uh, oh, damn. That was dumb. All right. Instead, we'll just do this. Oh, they're immune to poison, of course. These aren't ghouls, these are skeletons. Not that I know if ghouls aren't immune to poison or not. But Faith can attack that one quite happily. Chill touch. Cannot gain hit points. If undead, disadvantage attacking the caster. So let's go with that, because Pastel is the closest to this creature. Uh, I'm sorry, how can we not see this target? What if we stand there? So if we hit... 
which we did not. But if they come round to attack us, because we're the closest to this side, they would have disadvantage on that attack. And we have to awkwardly attack the thing that's on the tile we're on. That's gone excellently. Unfortunately, we can't move after we've made the attack, which is kind of annoying. Faith, we're just going to melee attack the creature closest to us and hopefully get sneak attack off. Big miss. Another miss. But these guys do not have the highest stats in the world, which is great. And if they want to get within range of our spiritual weapon and so forth, I'm very happy with that. Alright, so they're coming up behind Gothic. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Kite. Please do some sword and board. No smiting for now. Totally unnecessary. Uh, I'm going to move Kite to here so that he can protect Gothic as well. Could have gone to here and protected everyone, but I wanted to be closer to this side of the action. Oh, there's so many. Are they spawning from somewhere? They seem to keep arriving at the end of the initiative order, like a lair action. And if there's something in the darkness over here that I'm not seeing that is doing that, it's going to be a problem. We might have to do some very dangerous scouting. But for now, Gothic... We can't see that person there at too acute an angle down the wall. One foot but down. that's very good. And let's move Gothic to here. Keep this space occupied so that they can't climb these vines. That's a bad crit, but not too bad on the damage. Pastel, can you see this guy? Absolutely can. You could fight. Damn. But we still have spiritual weapon. And we are in range of this guy, which is great. Oh, such good work. Okay. Faith. We're going to have to go and do a little bit of a walkie. Nice that we got down there safely. Unfortunately, with the vertical movement, that is all of our speed, but we can. Bonus action dash to here. And then, do we not have a main action? Oh, that was our main action dash. This is bonus action dash. Right. Let's come over here. There's another teleporter there. Are these guys just coming out of the teleporters, perhaps? Because if they just keep coming, we're going to have to figure out something. Uh, yeah, shield yourself, please. Thank you ever so much. It might be now that these... Enforcers are here. Out. They seem to have the uh, the high health, most to be concerned about kind of creatures. So maybe once we take out them, that will be a resolution to this encounter. But since we have an enforcer right here, we're going to attack with longsword, and because they have so much health, we will smite if we get the chance. Didn't even fight back. Excellent. Right. And then... Do we want to get down there in the thick of it, or do we want to try and have Faith disengage and retreat? Probably that. Yep. Reaction block. Ranged attack against Gothic, I assume. We'll never know, because... Oh, we... I mean, it will tell us in the uh, action history, sure. 
can we attack multiples of these guys with any of our spells from this location? We could do that. Seems slightly overkill. And I imagine we might get a better chance if a third creature goes up to try and attack Faith. A palpable hit. A solid eight there, though. Right. Kite is pretty injured. We might want to heal them shortly. What can we do for attacking down there better? Still don't have any AoE, which is a shame. Let's go Guiding Bolt. No, let's start with Spiritual Weapon over here. Let's do what's easiest and most natural. Hopefully they can hit for like five and this will be another foe dead. Very good. And then perhaps we need to do the sensible thing. Cast spell. Cure wounds. These two should not look so similar. <laughs> At second level for kite. Man, that's some bad rolls. Faith. Okay. Do we want to do any of this stuff? I don't think so. So, we can disengage, obviously. Do we want to attack first and then disengage? No, I think we're going to disengage first. And I don't think there is anything over here to be found more so than just knowing that there's a teleporter there. So we're going to disengage and move to here. And then dash and move. Where are we going to move? One, two, three, four, five. We're not far enough away. Let's move there. We have cover then. And we're out of range of most of everything else. Deal with it. Deal with it. Oh boy, they caught up fast. Right. Kite. Not nearly as injured now. Where do we want to focus our attacks? Can we get down there fairly easily? Not really. It's a lot of vertical movement being spent, which is a shame. Faith's going to climb up fairly safely on her next turn with her bonus action disengage. So let's just keep doing what we're doing here. Well, I currently count five foes still in the combat. A modest success. Hopefully, after these things start to quieten down. Spiritual weapon still doing great work over here. Three is fine. Not going to complain. And then for us down here, we have sight lines on the enforcer. So I think it's time for a guiding bolt. Excellent. That was a good chunk of their health. Then faith. We can get to here. All right, we're going to cunning action disengage for certain. 
then where can we get to with a dash? Probably just going to start moving across, back up to the roof on this side. Didn't learn a great deal, but even if we didn't, we've eliminated the need to know if there is something out there by eliminating the mystery. We didn't find out anything, but by not finding anything, we know there is nothing. Put it that way. Bit wordy, sure. Uh, the Skeletal Forcer still has... Um, advantage. Is this for a turn? First attack against this creature has advantage for one round. Duration one round. So we want to utilize on that before it's over. So Gothic or Pastor probably going to have to take best advantage of that. From here, let's attack the regular skeleton. Wait till the next one. Doing a lot of good work, even though we have a negative modifier with that bow. Right, Gothic. Please just stand here and attack with advantage against this guy. Not bad, eh? Not the best, but we'll deal with it. Right, Pastel. Can we please get rid of this guy? Probably shouldn't use the deck save against an archer. You lose. But when, when it works, it works. That's fine. Get the skeleton archer again. Ah, our first miss with that, I think. And then down here. We can attack and disengage. Ah, keep them coming. Worth it. And then just move as far away as possible from this guy. Ah, they've still got an attack in. But that's fine. Multi attack, interesting. we can get to here. Can we attack down that corner edge? Not with a bow and arrow. Sword and board, please. Definitely can. Skip the smite for now. We need to preserve some of those spell slots. That archer being so far away is a pain. I don't know if they're attacking at disadvantage for being so far away. But there's not too many of these guys left. And I think they've stopped spawning new ones, which is really the important part for us. Do we have range on that guy? We do. Well deserved. Very nice. Ah, oh, we didn't... Didn't attack with spiritual weapon, because I'm a dummy. It's fine, we can attack this guy and get sneak attack. Except we miss. Um, do we want to retreat? We can't get that high if we want to. We will stand here though, so that Kite can defend us against an attack like that. Because they are in adjacent cells. Turn a hit into a miss thanks to the disadvantage. And then a crit one, does great work. This guy is going to die to any hit. Uh, yeah, we can shield that. Right, is ma magic missile in range? It is, so we'll do two there, one there, and one there. So that one's down, that one's down, this one is more injured. 
getting their payback. But with Spiritual Weapon, we should be able to do this. X, what? What is happening? You there! Stop! Don't move! Who are you? Dialogue, orders, uh, we gain percentages. Oh god. Well, that was an interesting fight. Join me next time and we'll see how this situation resolves. Because, oh boy, there's a lot of skeletons around us. And who knows how this is going to go. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider pressing that like button or subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, put them below. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.